Good morning, everybody. This is Dennis Wilman with the Active Trend Traders. Welcome to the Making Money Trading Stocks and ETFs webinar that we do typically every Friday. Talk about what's gone on in the market for the week and uh, see if there's anything that potentially is setting up going into the uh, into the weekend or something to keep our eyes on as uh, we <clears throat> excuse me proceed through the rest of the year. Uh, I don't know if Michael or Mike's going to join us this morning, but. Uh, we're going to proceed. So remember, all the materials that we do present are for trading purposes only. Traders should always paper trade any new method prior to the risk of their own personal capital. I want to thank everybody for the emails that they've been sending uh, along. Let me know how things are going with their uh, their trading. Uh, that's you know, I, that's. For me, that's uh, just finding out that people are having success and finding successes uh, with their trading and associated with the active trend trading is um, kind of a real reward for me, and I I I just like it. It just means it means I'm helping somebody. So okay, we've been really focused on seasonality this year, and I think we're going to continue into that next year. Um, the thing to remember about seasonality is that seasonality gets us in the ballpark of when a, 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 a move on an entity, either a particular industry group or a um, uh, individual uh, index will happen, and then the technicals get us into the ball game, get us help us to uh, get in there and play. The objective of this session, we t try to keep this very short, sweet, and to the point, uh, but the objective is just timely, actual intel review at the end of each week. It gets kind of married up with the uh, uh, the uh, aftermarket Mondays that we do. And so we we'll do a real quick market review, uh, stocks ETF performance, and then bonus trades if we have any. We, and um, we'll proceed on from there. So here's where we're sitting as of oh, about 7 a.m. this morning. Uh, remember, the market closes early today, uh, 1 p.m. on the East Coast, um, which makes that about uh, with, the, with the time difference right now, about 8 o'clock in the morning here in Hawaii. Uh, it's currently about 6.02 here in Hawaii, so it's been a early morning. Uh, so let's take a look at some charts and see what we're uh, we're finding. I'm really pleased the active trend trading is pushing on towards. Uh, uh, I'm running toward you know wanting to get uh, about you know 50 percent or above in a you know total uh, return for the year, and that's what we're pushing on. And we'll see if we make it there. So let's take a look at the charts of the S&P. S&P basically breaking out to new highs. So we can use this pullback level from from this current breakout as a level of support to watch if we get any kind of pullback. We are in, in we are in a zone where seasonality should kick in and get a good run through the end of the year. Now, through the end of November, we may get some kind of a pullback and then a bounce. Um, as we've been saying for quite some time, play the pullbacks into the moving averages. And if we don't get a pullback in the moving averages, uh, then we can either do one of two things, either just let it go or go to a shorter time frame, go to the intraday one hour chart to see if that will allow us to catch the train. Uh, we just have to be very careful trying to catch a uh, you know, a train that's already moving. Uh, TSI, we got a tick up on that earlier, uh, about middle of last week at the tick up we get a bounce off the zero line um, those of you who were our uh, active trend trader premium members uh, you did get the training on Wednesday night that talked about the TSI and what you know the power that it just shows continuously across all time frames as a really great oscillator weekly you know so uh, with that said what are we looking at for yeah, one of the things I notice on this chart is that one, we have negative divergence. Yes, stocks are making, you know, the uh, index is making new highs. However, we got some negative divergence on the indicator. Does that mean it's going to fall? You know, prices are going to turn around and fall out of the sky? No, not necessarily. Um, the uh, but we do have, you know, this in, you know, indication that momentum at least is is lagging 
this move up. So when momentum is lagging, unless we get some kind of little rest down at Garrus, the moving averages where momentum can come back into the entity, um, then it may slow it down a little bit. But uh, for right now, the market is, you know, it is heading higher. Uh, NASDAQ, similar type thing. Negative divergence, however, it rolled up early off of, um, it was starting on its way down. It looked like it was going to continue on down. We get a bounce up. Then a, then a, the uh, eight-day moving average held off a little short two-day pullback, bounced higher, and away it goes. So we're looking at, uh, we're pushing through 6,400 on the NASDAQ. We are outside of this, you know, if we call this a channel area or a um, uh, rising um, wedge, we have broken outside of that, and the TSI is getting up towards the area on a weekly chart where it tends to turn over. We do not have an indication that we are going to turn over as of yet, but if we get, we are pushing up towards, we are getting a, a bullish cluster here. All three of the uh, momentum indicators on a weekly chart are above the 80% the, uh, level. But we had another one of these back here, and you can see didn't do much of anything other than just slow down for a couple of weeks. Same thing here, didn't do anything, actually kept climbing on up. Got this one here, got a little bit of a pullback. And as we said before, the market forecast is not as much of a good predict predictor as in the bearish position as it is in the uh, oversold bullish position. So Russell, what's we looking at for the Russell? Russell is actually slowing down a little bit. Uh, we've got, okay, here's your level of support. You know, somewhere between 15.10 and up here at about 15.15. Uh, we are getting a little bit of a pullback into that area. We'll see if we, in fact, get a pullback a little bit deeper. Of the indexes, the Russell and the, um, uh, the NASDAQ tend to give us the best year-end run. And... Uh, so we're looking for, you know, some kind of a trade off of uh, either the moving averages or, again, we may have to go to the one-hour uh, intraday chart to look for a pullback into the 820 combo or even down to the 50 period moving on the, the uh, one-hour chart, which equates to the eight-day moving average on the daily chart. As again, it looks like we're turning up. We've got the nice breakout going here. These bodies, just pay attention to these bodies on a weekly chart. The the close, you know, the bodies actually are stronger levels of either support or resistance. And so down here at the 1510 level, that is a strong level of support. Uh, and we see if we bounce below that and come back up, or you know, anywhere down to the midsection of this week's candle. Uh, could be an opportunity to get long in Russell and let that translate over into TNA uh, for a little bit better, uh, better of a move. And so that's what we're looking at there. Let's see what we uh, – something I had just filled, and I don't know what it was. Or at least it rang in my ears, and it was probably our spider trade from last week. Uh, okay, let's see. So here's the seasonality we're talking about. Looking in the November time frame here, we're just finishing up the, the yeah, towards the end of November. As you can see, NASDAQ tends to get a run going through the end of December and then kind of starts lagging in January. Uh, the uh, Russell, same type of thing. We'll tend to go a little bit sideways, and that's what, may, what, what it may be doing right now. But again, um, if seasonality kicks in, we want to be in on this ride, and we may have to utilize, as I said, the one-hour chart to get in on a potential ride to the upside with uh, the Russell trading TNA. Uh, for premium members, I'll be watching that very closely uh, to try to jump on that, uh, um, uh, that move the rest of the way up. But again, we'll go back and trade off of the one-hour chart. Um, as long as we don't get any negative, you know, really anything negative on the 
daily or weekly chart and right now it's you know we are not other than uh, uh, on either of those so we'll keep an eye on that okay here's where we're sitting as of um, uh, today on each one of the uh, strategies one of the uh, strategies two and strategy three doing really well for the year strategy one doing okay uh, but uh, I think you're going to like the changes we're going to be doing in strategy one going into 2015 for premium members. We're going to be more about port actually, you know, really concentration on portfolio building, using margin for that part of the, you know, with that part of the uh, uh, dollars that we have to in, in invest our capital uh, and uh, looking to move the results for strategy one to be more in line with the results from strategies, you know, at least strategy two. I've been working with uh, getting some mentoring from uh, Lee Tanner on how he does his uh, yearly um, portfolio build out and all that kind of stuff. And so that's what I'm going to be implementing and pulling over into the active trend trading. Um, so that we can do part of strategy one where we'll actually do some, you know, either buying ETFs and or the stocks for potential build outs. So we'll talk about active trend trading system. Our model clarify, simplify so that we can all multiply. We basically follow the five pillars of active trend trading, what to trade, when to enter, when to exit, what strategy we're going to use and what to expect from that strategy. Um, between now and the end of the year, I'm going to be going into this and we're going to be doing some refinements or, or explaining the refinements that we're doing with each one of the uh, strategies. Um, so to basically make them stronger standalone strategies or stronger if you want to put, you know, trade across all three strategies. So my big question we into today is being Black Friday. And have you guys already gone out and done your shopping for Black Friday? Are you are you done with your Christmas shopping too, guys? <laughs> okay, not a lot of not a lot of responses there, so I'll I'll just assume that the answer to that is no. Um, and so yeah, I I I usually save my Christmas shopping. <laughs> yeah, all set. Okay, well, good for you, Charlie. If you're all set, that's awesome. So, uh, of these, I'm looking at trading. Um, you know, I, like I said, I like the Qs. I like IWM. Uh, we'll watch the spies. Uh, bonus trades. We are we're, we are into a trade on play, uh, and it's up about seven to eight percent right now. As uh, and so, it does have earnings coming up on twelve five after market close. Now we have taken off part of the profits on play half the position at about five percent, and uh, it's just you know kind of clean. If it, I'd like to see it get up above above ten to fifteen percent, and then we can make a decision on whether we want to hold it through earnings or not. Uh, Netflix, Tesla, NVDA, they make up the 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 uh, you know kind of the backbone of the stocks that we look at trading because they. They lend themselves to trade across all three uh, of our strategies very well. We are currently along AEIS and Nugget. These were uh, uh, trades for our premium members. And again, play, what do I want to do? Uh, I might want to add to that. So refinements for each strategy are going into 2018. I'll be getting out a, a video on that, sharing that with everybody, what we're looking at doing. And then the other thing, uh, I, I have been watching and looking at the uh, IBD, and this was basically after um, Lee Tanner's last presentation. And I got to looking at all these watch lists, and primarily I focus on the IBD 50, which is enough. But there's some also some other really great watch lists here, IPO leaders, the sector leaders. And, and uh, listening to how Lee evaluates these and looks at these, uh, part of his ranking system is to basically uh, see which of the stocks that are kind of on the IBD 50 also show up on some of these other lists. And when you have multiple listings of a particular stock, 
it uh, it kind of elevates it in his grading system. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking a look at these every weekend. I'm going to pull all the stocks that are in these 12. There's 12 different watch lists here. Now, I'm not saying that anybody else should do this, but I'm going to be doing this for our uh, active trend trading members. And then I'm going to basically do an analysis of that list, break that down into a smaller list, uh, primarily just made up of the stocks that are showing multiple entries upon the on these lists. And then we pull it into our watch list on Thinkorswim to do the sort to find out, okay, which one is closest to the, you know, to a potential buy point, if there's any at all close to it. And that's based on the eight-day moving average and also based on the thinkers, or the uh, TSI. And so, but uh, if you are not a, you know, active trend trading members, please just basically register at least for the free newsletter and we'll be cutting you in on what this composite watch list is looking like. And uh, if something pops on it, of course, the premium members will be sending out the uh, alerts to you guys. And, uh, but I'll be glad to share the, share the, the uh, composite list with uh, all, all the members. And so right now, Mike Traeger and I are working on the early warning alerts, updates, and new news membership about. I can tell you right now, if you are an early warning alert member, that we are going to have a price reduction in the, 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 the membership um, uh, subscription going forward starting this month. Uh, and that'll be launched in the uh, 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 December time frame, and so be watching for a video to come out on that here shortly. So, um, for the premium members, uh, I've been getting good reports on you know the go no go table, and we had one, two, three, four, five entities this past week which were go no goes um, for potential setups. Uh, going into the week, sometimes, and what I'm finding is sometimes my my busy schedule, I don't, I'm not able to get out alerts on each one of those. But by having this table at the beginning of the week, members are reporting back to me saying, "Hey, I'm using this table to plan my own trades," which is absolutely fantastic, and and uh, um, really pleased with that. And so this is, uh, again, this is sent, sent out to the premium members every weekend, or at least by Monday. What else we got going on here? Um, the bonus trades. Now, this is for everybody who is an active trend trader member, both the premium and the non-premium members. And if you want to participate in this, that what I'm looking at, basically, bonus trades based on the active trend trading system, 10 to 12 per year. Uh, for active trend member uh, trend trading members and you just register for that if you are not a member you know if you are a premium or a non-premium active trend trading member you don't need to register down here but if you are not and would like to be you know get on the notification of when these bonus trades come out you just you know go to this website right here and on this little sign up sheet and then it'll be on the uh, mailing list. Uh, where are we sitting at right now? This is as of today. These green portions here play YY. They're closed out. We still have YY going here. Um, our correction, we still have play going there. And play is, let me sit here. Uh, as of this morning, I've got it at 51.05. It's a little bit higher than that. So it's up about almost, you know, 6.8, 6.9%. Uh, since we entered it on 10:13, what I'm finding on, the, which I'm really excited about, what I'm finding about these bonus trades is we're really applying the active trend trading uh, rules to this, and we're sticking with the trades, and and we're not letting ourselves get blown out of a good trade. So again, um, really pleased with that. So that's what I've got for today. Uh, a season for explosive growth for 2017 that is checked off. That that is exactly what's happened. Um, if you want to keep track of what we're going, you know, you can check us on Facebook. There's our Facebook address. There's our Twitter address. Here's my email address. Please email me if you have any questions or if you want to just, you know, talk about a stock. I love to do that. I'm going to th show, I'm going to throw up, I'm not going to throw up, um, but I'm going to put on the screen 
two entities that I am taking it, keeping an eye on, or maybe three. Okay, there we go. Uh, TNA, yeah, look at this TNA, kind of rolling back over. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. What's Spy doing? Really quick. Okay, yes, yeah, Spy is pushing higher. Uh, AEIS. AEIS, um, you know, kind of got a little double bottom, positive divergence going here. Uh, excellent, you know, takeoff of here. We purchased this off of down about this level here, about the uh, 83 level. It's pushed on above that now. Uh, if we get a breakout here, we're probably going at least back up to 94, 95 level. Um, and so since the premium members are in this trade already, uh, I would be looking at, <clears throat> um, you know, any kind of pullback into the 820, kind of like it's doing right now, as a, as a potential for uh, getting into a position on this. AEIS is also a position that I am running uh, a test on Lee Tanner's entry levels for pyramiding into a position. And so actually we, we uh, uh, and he pyramids in at two and a half and four and a half percent above the buy point. And so we're seeing how that works out right now. And he buys, uh, um, uh, half a position to begin with and then, um, and then two thirds of a half, half position and then the rest of the third when it gets to four and a half percent above what he bought it at. So AEIS is what I'm looking at in UGT. Again, uh, kind of looking interesting. Why am I interested in GT? And I will will close up on this. I'll go. Let's go over here to GDE, GDX. Now this is the gold miner index. It also uh, corresponds with this gold miner index. This is showing this kind of a similar type thing. What I am honing in on that I think. Okay, one is we're getting on a weekly chart which when you get these weekly signals, oftentimes they are more powerful than, of course, the daily signal. So we have a daily signal that started back here, confirmed here with, you know, positive divergence, but I'm getting this almost a TSI crossover with the, uh, uh, on TSI with GDX, and that translates very nicely to what we have going on with Nugget, which is a three-time leverage index of the gold miners. And if we push on up through the, this in this case is the eight-week moving average, which is approximately the 50-day moving average, then we should have some pretty good traction all the way back up at least into the 35 level. And, uh, if, and, and above that, we should get up to resistance up here somewhere along this trend line that's pointed down. And so what kind of a move is that that we should be anticipating? Well, that move from, you know, current current price up to 30, up to 30, sorry. <laughs> okay, up from current price up to 35 would equate to about 15%. Uh, if we just maintain the trajectory up to the trend line, they were looking about, eh, let's say, conservatively, 27 to 28 percent. So I want to be along for that ride. We're also moving into a seasonal time for gold and gold miners, where we could look at getting that bounce. So um, anyway, I'll just share that with you guys. So like I said, our premium members are already in this trade. Um, but it's looking very positive, and those are the things I analyze on a weekly basis just to try to, you know, let folks know, hey, here's what's going on, and this is what I'm looking at. So with that, any quick questions? Because we've gone a little bit over time. Okay, with no questions, and I hope you found this uh, helpful. I hope you have a wonderful uh, rest of your uh, Black Friday, and uh, we'll see uh, some of you on the next session, which will be the final hour for premium members, uh, which is the uh, uh, webinar we do to see if there's anything that we need to buy, be buying or doing a position on uh, going into the end of the day. So have a great weekend, everybody. God bless, and um, 
be looking be looking for that that video from Mike and I on the early warning alerts. Aloha. Hi, this is Dennis. You've just watched a recording of one of uh, the two free webinars that Active Trend Traders do every week, one on Monday, one on Friday. Uh, during these webinars, we will be introducing and showing bonus trades for all Active Trend Trading members, both the premium and the non-premium members, but you have to be signed up as an Active Trend Trader. There's no obligation. Just go to the link here uh, that says formsaweber.com and you can sign up. Look to see you soon on one of our webinars. Aloha!